lost the lead. Hello guys, this is CrazyMan7777 here, and I have a new little series for you guys called Warning Signs, in which I basically uh, take a broad subject, uh, this time is Halo 5, and we look at smaller details of it to maybe warn you, or forewarn you, or whatever you want to call it, about what might happen if you... Well, no, not what might happen. Just to forewarn you of uh, possibilities of why it may not be what you seem and of uh, seem to think. And of course, there will be positive and negative episodes of this uh, little franchise that I'm building here. So, I'm uh, sure you'll be excited to see that. I usually work on the negative side of things, but... Uh, I will try to come up with episodes that don't revolve around such ideas. Of course, we are starting with an episode, but it does. But anyway, um, this is going to be a little series that is designed to just warn you about reasons why maybe you shouldn't waste your time and money on a game like Halo 5 Guardians just yet uh, before we see anything for sure. So I suppose... Uh, you know what? Let's target locate this first. Alright. So, uh, this one is going to be titled Halo 4, and that is not because it is going to be about Halo 4 specifically, <clears throat> but it's going to be about the similarities uh, between Halo 4 and Halo 5 Guardians release is those two releases are major in Halo history because they both uh, mark two different points where 343 is supposed to do well so we'll see um, one of those two does not uh, so did not work out obviously so uh, without further ado we will go straight into these ideas. Vehicular manslaughter. So, first, I suppose that we'll, we'll talk about the first thing that we saw of both, that I'm sure that you and I saw, both of Halo 5 and of Halo 4, which is the first trailer. And I honestly think that that first trailer is literally just a repurposed, um, cutscene from a campaign, just like the one from Halo 4. The one from Halo 4, if you guys remember, was uh, came out pretty much at the exact same time of the year, uh, the exact same time before the game actually released, and it also came out so two years before the release or whatever. And then, of course, it had all kinds of speculation about it that really had nothing to do with anything. I think that the Halo 4 trailer was actually probably a little bit more relevant than the Halo 5 Guardians trailer is uh, to the story, if I think about it. So, no, let us remind you of what the Halo 4 trailer was like. Halo 4 trailer, um, I dare not play it for you, is... The Master Chief going through uh, the Ford onto Dawn ship that is broken in half, which uh, honestly was changed in the final version of Halo 4, which is kind of hilarious. And basically, the whole thing is just CG, uh, just like the Halo 5 one. And basically, what happens is that he goes through the whole ship, tries not to get run over uh, by all the things that are floating around in the ship. And then he proceeds to uh, pick up a sticky detonator, explode something with it. So there was a weapon that was interesting. Um, this time in the Halo 5 Guardians trailer, we had him looking weird with his little uh, shawl on. So that was also similar. Because we had a little feature, a little distractor 
And then at the end, he came to the end of the Ford onto Don, and he looked out, and uh, Cortana talked to him for a second. I don't remember what she said. It honestly wasn't worthwhile uh, telling you guys. And he saw that Requiem was opening in the background, and there were like all kinds of Covenant ships around it and all that, and that. And it sent out like a little beam that scanned him. And it literally was just exactly like the campaign, uh, the first mission of the campaign. So I honestly don't think that um, the Halo 5 one is that much different, considering the similarities between both these trailers. I would say that the Halo 5 one is probably just another repurposed cutscene from the campaign. So, after that, we have recently, which is probably the more exciting uh, stuff with more content in it, we had a gameplay of the second mission in the game, of the first part of the second mission in the game of Halo 5 Guardians, uh, with a multiplayer trailer afterwards. And many people think that this is actually a deviation from what happened in Halo 4, but it actually isn't. Sadly enough, it actually is the exact same thing, almost the exact same thing that happened. In Halo 4, we had gameplay, a gameplay trailer for the campaign of the first part, uh, first third of the third mission in the campaign. So it's not really different at all. Uh, we had gameplay from the, it was supposed to show off the Prometheans, uh, and the one in the campaign for this game just showed off the new features once again so same thing they are campaign trailers that show off the new features of the campaign uh, next uh, you will notice actually yeah you will notice that the multiplayer cutscene uh, I think that the multiplayer cutscene people will actually recognize is basically the same as the Halo 4 one because once again, it is just a clipped out part of gameplay from the game. Oh god. Uh, okay then. Where it is just showing off the new features of the campaign. So, sorry, of the multiplayer. So that really wasn't different at all. Ugh. Once again. Uh, the campaign trailer. I suppose that you could say that it was different in a sense of the fact that it was a different campaign, but honestly, if you watch the Halo 4 trailer, it was just about as cool as that. It's three, like I said before, 343 is really good at making things seem cool even though maybe they actually aren't in reality. Um, their power of editing and hype is just beyond control at this point. Oh yeah, I love doing that. Uh, so, I guess that, that would be all the warning signs that I currently have for you guys uh, about... Now I'm just keep... Now I keep saying distractors. Uh, is a distractor. Anyway. Uh, oh my god. Now I'm doing it again. So basically, I have for you guys laid out all of the... Re all of the first reasons why I am not excited for Halo 5 Guardians, or at least I'm not interested in it. It's, well, you see, the thing is that it, it's still going to be in, it's still going to be exciting no matter what because it's a new Halo game, but not uh, if it's since it's a 343 one, it won't be exciting for much after the game actually comes out. And I have no idea if I'll ever get it because of reasons like this where I worry about I worry about the safety of the Halo franchise when I see things like Halo 5 because I don't know I honestly just don't know and at this point you guys should be questioning it everything too if you're excited about Halo 5 I mean I certainly don't want to ruin it, ruin it for everyone I'm just showing you guys the facts that I see uh, the things that I see And I suppose that that could also be ruining it anyway. But, you know, I just do that anyway. Very, very good at doing that for people. 
Alright. Stand by for FO telemetry. Oh man, where do I drop that thing? Alright. So, I think that that's pretty much all I can say for now on Halo 5 Guardians. There really isn't much more that I can give you guys uh, that would be new on this specific subject, but I'm talking about Halo 4. Well, actually, yeah, I would say that none of this stuff is giving us any confidence that the game has changed in any way, or that the um, Halo 5 Guardian storyline is to be trusted as the new acceptable thing in Halo history. So that would be my takeaway from this, is that it really doesn't show any change necessarily. Uh, later episodes of the series will be covering uh, First Warzone, that will be fun I'm sure. Uh, Alex3527 is funny excited about that. He actually is excited about saying the reason why he doesn't like it. Uh, and then we will talk about uh, story. That'll be another one. I mean, the takeaway from this one is story is a little bit of story, but it's not really fully talking about the story. I've got a couple of good analogies for you guys. So I think I'll see you guys next time. And I don't know why, but this game has somehow been recorded in 1080p. I'll see you guys next.